Skyblock is a game that heavily revolves around the economy. In order to progress, you need a lot of coins. There are tons of ways to get coins in Skyblock, but there's one method that is more effective, consistent, and profitable than others. Mining. In today's video, I give myself 100 hours to grind for the best possible mining gear that I can get. Before we start though, if you want to be notified as soon as videos come out, or are interested in winning some coins from giveaways, you should join my newly set up Discord server. I'm currently hosting a giveaway for 10 million coins, as well as some other items, so you should definitely join. Anyways, without further ado, here's my 100 hour mining journey. So, mining can make upwards of 20 million coins an hour if you mine gemstones. But getting to that stage is not easy. I had my eyes on a full divan set with perfect gemstones and the titanium drill 655. However, like everything else in this game, it wasn't going to be as simple as just spending all my coins on gear. With the mining skill comes a unique skill tree called Heart of the Mountain. Upgrade the perks to a point where they would give me a lot of money while mining would require 4 million of each type of powder. I estimated that it would take me 50 hours of powder mining just to reach this if I only powder mined, but that's just the cost that comes with this skill. However, powder mining comes with a benefit. If I was able to mine in the jungle with a jungle pickaxe, I would be getting sludge as well as powder. Sludge is used in a lot of high tier forge recipes, so it sells for a lot on the bazaar. I'd use the money from that to afford the full plan set, as well as the 655 drill. As my playtime ticked up to 900 hours, I began to prepare for the inevitable grind that lay ahead of me. Alright, so I'm currently sitting at around um, 8, 899 hours and 59 minutes of playtime. Literally just about to hit 900 hours. I'm currently at this much gemstone and mithril powder. Uh, I obviously want to make this full mill as soon as I possibly can. So this is the first priority using my jungle pickaxe in order to get those really nice loot chests. Um, I'll wait a little bit uh, for me to actually hit 900 hours so the 100 hours can begin. 900 hours in zero minutes playtime, okay here we go. Before we continue, let me explain. Powder mining is super inconsistent and hourly rates vary widely depending on how lucky you get. Ideally, it would take me 50 hours in order to give me time to get the money for everything else I wanted to buy. If it took any longer, I'd be on a very tight schedule for getting the money I needed. Alright, so it has just been a little over 10 hours of playtime. Um, currently sitting at 910 hours and 3 minutes. My powder is currently... Uh, I can't remember what I started with, but I think this is quite a bit more. Um, again, I'm aiming for 4 mil of each, so the grind will continue. At this point, I had been powder grinding for so long, I was starting to unironically feel sick at the sight of Hearthstone. So, I decided to take a break. Diana had just come into office, so I lent some items from my friend Doggo and Fannybus, and got to the grind. What I didn't expect was for this to happen. By the way, that was my first ever solo Inquisitor kill, and I almost didn't kill it on time due to my Tarshmans being configured wrong. If that wasn't already enough, this happened a few hours later. Uh, don't, don't greet Bill. Got it. Gentleman's rules. That's right, about it. Good. So, like, gentleman's rules and don't <gasps> greet buildings. I got Minos Relic. Yeah, I'm not RNG carried. 
Anyways, with my newfound money, I decided to buy the first piece of the puzzle, the Devan armor. Okay, so, um, here's my total loot from that Diana event, including, of course, uh, the, the kind of lucky drop. It's worth a few coins. So I'm going to sell all of this now. I can also sell my sacks in order to boost the money a little bit. I guess I can claim this now. Yep, that's a lot of coins. Okay, so now it's time to buy the armor. This is going to be pretty scary because I do not like spending money very much. So these are the boots I'll be buying. Um, yeah, okay. I guess let's, let's go for it. Another 81 mil. This is the chest plate I'll go for. Okay. Uh, whatever. I'm going for it. That is the full Devon set board, and there is a massive hole in my bank right now. I gotta say though, it does look incredibly drip. Oh yes. Um, I decided to buy four perfect Topaz gemstones in advance, because I knew I'd need them for my Devon, and I just kept them on my Sorrow in the meantime. So I may as well apply them to the Devon set right now. Nice. I got it. The best mining armor set in the game. I wasn't done with powder grinding though, so, so before beginning to work towards the 655, I decided to finish the powder journey. Right, so I I did it. <sighs> Buying this upgrade will push me over the four million mark on this counter. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Anyways, I have. 4 mil of each powder and a lot more of gemstone now. I will need more gemstone, but I'll just get that through regular gemstone mining. This took so incredibly long. <laughs> Finally, I'd been staring at endless amounts of hardstone for so long I felt like vomiting. It wasn't fun. However, now that I had enough powder, I was finally able to start mining. The plan was to mine jade, as it was the least annoying gemstone to mine. The only issue was, I wasn't able to afford the draw yet, so I had to make do with my gemstone gauntlet that I had before. I was still planning on buying a drill, I just didn't have the money for it yet. Anyways, I started mining. I mined, and I mined, and I mined. The next goal that I had in mind was a scather pet, and eventually I had enough. Alright, so I did a little bit of mining. This is how much playtime I currently have, almost at 1k hours. Anyways, there is one thing I would very much like to do. And the thing in question is to buy a scather pet. Okay, well, uh, here goes. That was so painful. 
Anyways, I'm gonna keep on doing some mining. Um, I will see you later. Hopefully I will be able to afford a drill um, relatively soon. The final stretch. The last goal for this insane grind was the titanium drill, the RX 555. Okay, so um, the time has come. <laughs> I have 998 hours and 39 minutes of playtime, so it is basically time to retire the old gauntlet. Uh, it's currently my ender chest. I've got a little bit more jade to sell. I also tried some jasper mining, which I've already sold to the bazaar, which was pretty cool. But anyways, um, in total, this is the budget I have to buy a drill with. Which... May as well just buy for this. Uh, now I guess we need an upgrade module, so for that I will get the sunny side goblin on it, as it's a lot cheaper than blue cheese, and a lot of people use it anyways. I'll probably be getting the gemstone fuel tank for now. It's pretty expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'll be wanting to upgrade this to a perfectly cut tank at some point, but I don't really have the facilities for that right now. Nice. My playtime is at 44 minutes before 999 right now. So I'm gonna find a Mines of Tavan lobby and do one hour of just straight mining and see how much profit I can make in an hour. Yeah, I've finally found one. Um, I have literally one minute to explain everything. So my stats are currently uh, this, so 6,340 mining speed and 2,022 mining fortune. That is a perfect number for this year. Um, yep, I'm using the, the drill that I literally just bought. Uh, my heart of the mountain tree. So it's how much powder I have. It's spec like this. Not quite have mining speed and professional maxed out, but I'll get there someday. So yeah, let us finally start mining and see the definitive um, money per hour that I make. Let's go. Okay, so we are so close to 1,000 hours. Um, so I've been mining for almost an hour. There is like literal seconds until I, I hit the, the thousand hour mark. There we go, thousand hours. Ugh. Dude, this has been a wild ride, <laughs> so to speak. But we did it. And we also did an hour of mining, so here's what I got from that. I'll just put my coins in the bank so we can see exactly how much I got. Seventeen point five mil coins in one hour. And it can go further, like I can get perfect gemstones on all this and perfect gemstones on this, recon my equipment. This is not the end yet. But now though, my one thousand hour mining journey is done. For now. I'm planning on using this mining setup to mine for another hundred hours and see how much money I can get. So, subscribe if you want to see that. Anyways, this video took me over 100 hours to make, and I am losing my mind. So, leaving a like to boost the algorithm would be awesome. Anyways, this was my 100 hour mining adventure, and good night.